Weighing 8,500 tonnes, HMS Dauntless arrives at North Shields. She's one of the most technologically advanced warships ever built, with 150 crew members on board. And she's a national asset. She's designed primarily as an air defence asset to defend our own UK national interests, but also she can defend a coalition such as American ships as well. A call to attention on the flight deck. No chances are taken with armed guards on standby. Below deck, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but for the chefs, it doesn't stop them putting on a pretty impressive menu. Everything from roast dinner to we have theme nights. We have uh, Indian theme nights, um, Chinese theme nights. We'll have fish. It's traditional on a Friday every lunch. You name it, we try and get on the menu. And after the meals, it's time to burn off those calories at the onboard gym. They don't pass the fitness test, they don't get promoted. The reason why we have to stay fit as well, I mean, they have to be operationally fit. They have to be fit to fight and fit for life. Newcastle's the affiliated city for HMS Dauntless. And whilst it's docked, the public will be given the chance to go on board. When you join the Navy as a warfare officer or a seaman officer, your, your dream job is to command a ship. And I've been fairly lucky in Commander 2 already, but to command HMS Dauntless, one of the Type 45 destroyers, you know, is your dream job.